Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm the founder of an organisation called Batir, which is giving a voice to the elephant in the room. We run preventative mental health education programs for young people by engaging, educating and empowering young people about the benefits of seeking help and highlighting where they can turn to for support. We're very excited to announce that the New South Wales HSBC Waratahs are behind the campaign One Sock One Goal for its pilot year in 2013. The TARS recently wore the socks down at a training session to start the conversation about youth mental health. We hope you do too. Wear your socks and get involved in the conversation. Sleep now under my skin Make sure you try to conjure the wind and ease my Always had a coach to kick, always had a coach to run, to pass, but never to, to help me with the things off the field. And I probably didn't realise how much significance that had until until I got injured and then I got injured again. I probably spent the, good, the most part of probably two years out. And, um, you know, that was when there was some pretty dark times for me. And, um, you know, I guess the realisation that, you know, it's, it's actually all right for me to have, I guess, in terms of the way I put it, was probably a coach for things outside of football, off the field. So It's all about what you can, like, looking after what you can control. So... Um, you know, there's a certain amount of things like whether the coach likes you or not, you can't really control, or uh, whether you're going to get injured or not, that's part of the game. So, you know, doing things outside the game and like being able to, uh, you know, to spend time with people who aren't as involved in the game is also a really good way to release a bit of pressure. I'm personally a deeply bored of dog, and it's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> Have a little puppy, and, um, broke my leg 12 months ago, and I found it you know, a really quite a difficult time in my career. And, um, you know, somebody you can just talk to and he doesn't talk back to me, he doesn't do anything, but he's just there. And, you know, I thought something as simple as that uh, created a lot of difference for me. There's also that stigma that, you know, you don't want to be seen as a weakness. And, you know, a weakness is the wrong way to look at it. It's just, you know, something that we have to deal with and we all deal with it at some stage through our life. The more we can show that it's actually better to talk and, and open up to, to those that are close to you and, and for those people to know that they're not isolated. I think you know the better for it. And the more awareness we can get out there, that um, you know it, it's actually okay to talk about. You know the you know if you're having issues or you know you're feeling sort of um, you know a little bit down or, or, or that you're a little bit isolated. I think it's uh, it's really important. I think we just need to create a awareness and, and realise it's okay to have a mental health issue. Um, you know it's a common occurrence amongst not only just normal people but sportsmen as well. And um, you know to go out and seek help and you know there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, that would be uh, Will Skelton. I think his feet are like size 16 and a half. Biggest sock. Well, I'd have to go Willie again. He's got a size 17 really? boot. Will Skelton. Will Skelton. Undoubtedly. But yeah, he's like 6 foot 8 and 140 kilos. We're going to go with Bernard Farley, probably on and off the field. Oh, Bernie Farley thinks he is. He probably does a bit more playmaking off the field, I reckon. He, uh, he's always got something going on. The idea of the SOP campaign is to give students something to get involved in. It's to bring sport and mental health together and show that communities like footy teams, whatever it is, hockey, whatever it is, and schools can kind of band together and use something that you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis and promote the fact that mental health is a prominent issue for, for Australians in particular, for young people. We talk a lot about leaders in here and about being the first to, to do something and then have someone come with you and I think, um, you know, someone's going to have to be that first person at your school or your university to play that game in that sock. So you should be in because then you can really pat yourself on the back later and enjoy the fact that you've introduced something which is going to help a lot of people in the future. Getting behind the campaign, it's a bit of fun. You'll have a look at the socks, they're nice and groovy and uh, you saw today if you if you've watched the Waratahs films but we all had a bit of fun with it. And, you know, along with the fun we also recognise things, the necessary steps and the procedures and the help out there. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a great initiative and you know, hopefully we we'll really see it burn through clubs and schools. I think, you know, the more we can make people aware of it and, you know, even if it's not you that's suffering but it could be one of your friends, um, you know, just to, to make people aware that there are programs there to help you. It's taking that first step, you think that there's not going to be any ground underneath you, but there always is and, uh, and once you do it then you, know, you feel much better for it. I sort of took the step and, and went out and sort of, you know, spoke to someone and, and helped me through different things and, you know, and sort of, I guess, put things in perspective and, and, and helped me uh, work through a few things. Everybody's affected. 
by mental health issues. So I think uh, talking about it and creating a bit of awareness and making people feel more comfortable talking about it is probably the biggest thing that will come out of the campaign. Oh, I'm crying.